Hi guys. Um, I hope, how are you? That's a good way to start. Um, I hope that you're well. Um, I have had a morning, just like little things going wrong the whole day. And this is the umpteenth time I've done a video. Um, the first one, the sound went bad. Um, just couldn't hear me. Um, and then, uh, just been interruptions. Just one thing after another. Anyway, um, I hope that your day is going well. Okay, so this week we are going to um, continue with doing a check-in, and I've asked you about what kind of music that you're listening to and left a message about what I've been listening to. Um, we have new editing exercise. I've also posted a couple videos, this one, and then also one about the editing exercise last week, and um, one about using Google Classroom, because I really need you to hit that turn in button, that done button. That's how you're going to get rid of those missings. Um, I can't do it for you um, unless I give a grade. Um, I am taking some of the advice from the meeting we had last week and trying to apply it. I make things a little less overwhelming. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, we're going to continue our study on media. Um, and this week, last week, we did some vocabulary. We looked at some, um, we had an article that you read. See, sounds like I am just keep messing things up. Um, we had an article that we read that talked about how people, especially this study in particular, looked at teenagers who really had a trouble identifying whether something was real, true, or not. Um, and we are going to have a conversation about that article and another article that I'm giving you this week um, on Friday at 10 a.m. Um, and I will send out that link for that meeting. Um, so if you can join me Friday at 10 a.m., we're going to talk about bias and talk about those articles. So we'll bring your questions and comments and the things that you saw um, to that conversation. Um, this week, we're going to be moving on into kind of analyzing some headlines, looking at sponsored content, because a lot of people are trying to sell you stuff, um, clickbait. Um, and also, there's an optional assignment part of this where um, you can learn about logical fallacies. So philosophers in the past who study argument have realized that there are common ways that um, people can twist arguments. So they sound logical, but they really have nothing to do with the actual thing that they're trying to prove. And those are called logical fallacies. There's all kinds of things. Um, a lot of them have to do with misdirection. So like uh, a straw man, they will um, misdirect you from the main part of their argument with by saying that something else really matters more um, rather than the actual thing. Um, but your job, should you choose to do it, is to define those things. And again, that's an optional part, but I really would like you to look at the loaded language and the sponsored content. Um, we're also going to continue doing some writing, and this is kind of where the big news comes from. So um, Capstone is not going to work the same way that it would have otherwise. Um, so we're going to kind of take it a different direction. Um, you can choose to continue to work on that one thing that interests you, and I'm going to strongly suggest that everybody do a research paper, but we're also going to make it more like a portfolio of writing. So if you're really into creative writing, and I do anybody, I think right now is a great time to do some poetry, and I'm going to give you another prompt this week, but we'll put, be putting that together. And we're actually going to have two meetings about writing this week. One is going to be on Wednesday at 1 p.m. and the other is a Thursday on at 10 a.m. And we are going to talk about show, don't tell, which is really important for all kinds of writing and about these portfolio capstones in particular. And I'm also going to give you some tools for that over the week. Um, the other thing that you are continuing to do is hopefully edit some of that poetry if you did it. And um, hopefully more of you will submit some new stuff. We're going to do haikus this week. Um, and I have an interesting prompt for you. Um, so I hope you'll join us. The other thing that I'm asking is to see your latest version of your reading log on Friday and just see what you've been reading. Um, so let me know. Um, anyway, I hope you are all well. Um, and 
uh, if you have questions, please, please, please write me um, and send me pictures of your work. Send me a picture of what you're doing. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Um, I'd love to see it. Anyway, I miss you guys. And I miss working with you one-on-one -on -one every day. Um, take care.